welcome to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. Hear and learn through the success of others how to build the life and business you deserve. Learn to overcome failure, what it means to seek out growth, and how to become the best possible version of yourself. And now, here's your host, coach, entrepreneur, husband and father, and author of the number one best-selling book, Survive, Scale, Soar, Jeremy Williams. And welcome back to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy, and I am the owner of Red Hawk Coaching, a coaching company that provides coaching services for real estate agents, real estate teams, uh, real estate broker owners, and small business owners. And just a reminder, the show comes in two formats. There's Real Talk, uh, which is just me and the mic sharing uh, my own personal feelings and thoughts on things that may be happening in the, sport, in the world or in business, and maybe give you some insight into helping you along your personal journey. The other is Success Talks. That's where I interview some of the top people in the industry, and they share with you what has made them successful over time. And so today is a real talk, and the real talk is about mindset, especially in our world right now, the mindset that you need to have in order to be successful. Yet even in a different market or a different environment, it all starts with mindset. And so being a small business owner and maybe working for somebody, you know, an entrepreneur and working for a business, it's two different worlds, and the mindset's going to be very different. Um, when you're operating a small business, you're subject to whatever the world is throwing at you. And that could be anything, you know, inflation, um, issues at the banks, uh, being able to get money, being able to get credit, uh, all these different things that could happen uh, that you have no control over and you have to deal with them daily and it can impact your mindset. Also, what a lot of people don't understand, maybe they're new to building a business or maybe they get comfortable and had some taste of success or some level of success and they've gotten comfortable and they've, they've put on the brakes is that typically what you do today, the result's not going to show up today. Re results going to show up 30, 60, 90 days out, a year out, two years out, five years out. And so, you know, I'm in my sixth year as my, my coaching business on my own. I, I 2017, had left um, Keller Williams, uh, spent a year, hung my license over to EXP, really didn't do anything with it. It was a great opportunity, though, to be able to learn about the company and see some of the back, back end of that company. I was there for a year, but when I made that transition from KW to EXP, that's when I launched Red Hawk Coaching. And so now I'm getting into that six, six years now and going, you know, getting closer to the seventh year. And some of the things that I did in year one and year two are just now starting to show up. Uh, there's some big things that are coming for Red Hawk coaching and they're just now showing up and I didn't work on them last week. It's been things that I've been working on for years and I'll give you an example. If you go over to my website, redhawkcoaching.com, uh, www.redhawkcoaching.com, and there's a, a tab at the top that says press. And if you go to that, it is basically a journaling of my, my business from, from start to current date. Uh, I was on a call yesterday with a guy out of um, Australia. Well, now he lives in, in Cancun but was sharing with me an opportunity that I'm probably going to pass on for right now, but an opportunity for a podcast mastermind. And I was going through that page with him. He, he asked a question like, who does this for you? And I said, me, I said, I've been working on this for five years. And I do a little bit each day, like um, Hank of Inc., a, a friend of mine that's with uh, EXP, a coach himself. Um, he just posted simply yesterday on his on his news feed on Facebook the word consistency. And you have to be consistent in this business, and especially around things like lead generation, the, the business building part, the thing that's going to make you revenue. And that requires a, a mindset that is typically a little bit different than your every day-to-day -day person. 
is that you have to be thinking 30, 60, 90 days out and that what I do today matters. Like I, I had this conversation with my wife on the phone just a few minutes ago and I've got a couple of uh, clients in the pipeline that looks like they're going to come on board. And, you know, that was from one of them was from work that I put in a, a year ago, a conversation that happened over a year ago. And so it's, you've got to have that mindset of there, there's the lack of instant gratification with small business owners. And you have to have that mindset that if I put in the work today, I have to be okay with not seeing the result by, by the time I, I get off the clock. Like it's putting in that work. It's having that mindset of I'm going to just do everything I need to do. And I'm going to be very consistent with it. I'm going to do it every single day. I'm going to have a lot of arrows thrown my way. I've had some arrows thrown at me this week. You're going to get arrows thrown at you when you're a small business owner, especially as you become more successful with the business. You're going to get arrows. So you just have, you have to have the mindset that it doesn't matter, you know, and you have to just keep going and persevere through that and do what you know needs to be done. So a lot of times people will come to me and they'll coach and, you know, they're looking for maybe that magic pill, you know, if, if I, what do I need to take in order to, to get to this desired result? And a lot of times they do know intuitively what they need to do. They're just not being held accountable around it. Um, or there's so much information coming at them that they're trying to do nine, 10, 15 different things. And they only need to be doing one or two, maybe three things at the most every day and consistent and have the mindset that the result might not show up that day. It might not show up next week. Uh, as a coach, I wish I could just strike my clients with a lightning bolt and say, hey, your life has changed. Everything is good now. It, it, takes, it takes work. And, and I see that a lot today, unfortunately, in the younger generations. Um, but I think even with some of the people that are my age, uh, kids of baby boomers, where in the last few years, just the world has has changed a lot and there's just a lot of stuff out there that you know people are just kind of pulling back uh they're not living out to their potential uh they've there's a sense of entitlement um and i, I think in markets like this you have to be careful with with that type of attitude um and and that type of mindset when you're approaching approaching your business and that's why you see in times like these especially those my my colleagues in the real estate industry is this is the time where you've got to lean into it and push harder. This is a time where you can gain market share. This is the time that, you know, others are going to run to the sidelines. This is a time where the people that are successful are the people that have been developing their skills. They've been working on their scripts. They've been working on their, their marketing. Uh, they've stepped up their marketing. And folks, I, I worked with a company that was number seven in the world in terms of size. And that was back in around 2006. And then the market turned really bad 2008 to 2010. We had the financial meltdown. We really didn't come out of it and start seeing more positive things until 2012. In that time, that company went from number seven to number one because they did a few things differently. And there's several examples. That's, that's just one example of what a company can do or what an individual business owner can do in a time where everybody else is running, running to the sidelines. It's like, you got to buckle down. You got to work hard. And it shouldn't matter what the market is. Like if it's a great market, work hard. Make hay while the sun shines. When the market is a little bit more challenging, that's where you go and you take market share, right? And you might not see that market share immediately. It may take some time, but they're going to remember that real estate agent that called them, touched base with them, asked them how their family was doing during those times, which everybody in 2008 to 2010, whether they're a small business owner or not, were impacted. Remember things like real estate, any service business, and I'll challenge you on most businesses, it comes down to building and having those relationships. That's a mindset. And I think a lot of people have moved away from doing relationship-based things. COVID did not help the situation. 
Uh, COVID, there's a lot of things that it derailed us from that have made it, I think, a little bit more challenging now because I think there's an assumption that we can operate and not operate with, with people. We can operate like in the virtual reality world. And I don't know about you, but if I were a consumer and I was going to hire a real estate agent to sell the biggest asset that I owned, I'm going to want to know who they are. I want to, I want to see them. I want to be able to trust them. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a big deal to have somebody come in to your world, your financial world, um, you know, and you've got these emotional ties to your, your property. But to have somebody that come, you, comes into your world that's a professional, that's real. And I think a lot of that has been impacted over the last few years. And I think it's, it's made people that didn't have the skill set to build relationship, they were, it was easy for them at that time because they could rely on technology and emails and Zoom and virtual and, and all these other things, but they never developed that skill set to go out walk up and shake somebody's hand and introduce themselves and say, you know, I'm Jeremy Williams and I'm a realtor that would like to, to help you sell your home. And I think we're, we're going to see in this time as we move forward, that mindset of, of building and developing deeper relationships with our, our client base, going back to your database and truly working it, investing more money into the database, into online leads and all these other things that, most of the time they don't work. And even if they do work, most agents don't have the systems to handle the influx of data that comes in from, from doing things like Zillow and uh, some of those other, other companies that provide online leads. And so, you know, it's that mindset of going out, building relationships. You know, I, I talked to somebody a couple of weeks ago, asked like, well, what would you do? I said, I'd go knock on doors and hold open houses. That's what I did when I was in sales and, and I was successful at doing it. I built relationships and people trusted me. And once you sell one, then you sell another one and you build that credibility through uh, results. But it took a mindset of relationships. So today, I, I want you to take away a couple of things. I want you to take away that whatever market we're in, it's always a good market. We got to have that mindset first. There is an opportunity in every single market. You might have to you might have to change your game up a bit. Maybe some of the things that you were doing previously that worked, maybe you're not finding that those are working now. So you've got to make adjustments. And I saw a lot of people leave the industry just because they didn't make the adjustments necessary to stay relevant or to uncover those opportunities. Uh, that might have been fewer of them, but there were still opportunities out there uh, that they they just didn't have the skill set or change what they were doing to to uncover those. And then I want you to have the mindset of not having that that desire for instant gratification. It's not like going. I'll use Taco Bell. I'm not a big fan of Taco Bell. I saw somebody. It was some survey that Taco Bell was the best Mexican food in the country, and they they won first place and. They're just, that's insane. Uh, but I'll use that as an example. You go up, you make your order, you drive up to the window, and within a minute or two, you've got Taco Bell ready to go in your car. Only took a couple of minutes. Instant gratification. Like you could be starving, see a Taco Bell, and know you're going to be eating within two to three minutes. All right. It does not work like that in small business. You're going to put in a lot of work. Sometimes you're going to question yourself. I've been there. I've questioned, am I doing the right thing? Yet I didn't give up. I kept going. And that's what makes me different than a lot of people that are in my industry. I've seen a lot of people say they were a coach and then they weren't a coach and then they were a coach again and they weren't a coach. And, and um, you know, I don't know what the, the path or the journey is in front of me, but right now it's coaching. And I love it. I love being able to help change people's lives. But even in my business, I have to have that mindset of what I do today, the results may be 30, 60, 90 days out, a year out, two years out. Uh, one of the things coming up, it's been six years out. 
uh, for it to, to show up and become a reality. And so it just takes, it takes time and you've got to have that mindset to, and, and that, that perseverance, you got to be able to endure uh, because it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. You know, they say it's simple, not easy. And sometimes I don't even think it's simple. You know, there's so much information out there. There's, there's so many different types of things that you can consume that most of the time don't serve you very well. And so have that mindset of not, not having that desire around instant gratification. Be consistent. Be intentional in what you do. Know what, you, what the end result is that you desire and then just keep going and you'll win. That's, you know, I look at all these small businesses that are really successful, the ones I get to the honor to, to, to interview and it's, it's always in their story is they just keep going. They get up every day and keep going. And they know that if they do the work that needs to get done today, then the results that they desire tomorrow or within a year, that they start showing up. That's how it happens. So I hope this, this helps you today. Uh, mindset, super important as a small business owner. Uh, for those that are listening that might not own a small business and you're working in a company, that's okay too. Mindset still matters. Uh, mindset's not just a, a business conversation. It's a life conversation as well. If you're looking to, to lose weight, it requires having a, a mindset to do that or eat better. It requires a mindset to have better, a better marriage. That's a mindset to raise your kids the right way. All of it starts with, with mindset. So I hope if you've heard something today that, that strikes you or you know, it, you're like, hey, that makes, makes a difference, I'd love to hear about it. You know, shoot me a comment um, or do post a rating on my podcast and just leave maybe a review there of what you picked up from the episode. And more importantly, share it. Share it with somebody that may need to hear this message today. Maybe, maybe you know somebody that's kind of on the down and out or they have that woe is me attitude and, oh, the market's bad. And, and you know, they're just spiraling, spiraling down. You know who they are. Share this with them and hopefully the message may be heard from somebody differently. Uh, it might, it might change their world. And uh, so that's what this podcast is about is being able to share uh, information and be able to get that information to you so that you can make better decisions for yourself, for your family, for your business. And I truly mean that. So have a great day. Uh, we got a great guest coming on uh, next Friday. It's uh, Megan Behan with uh, EXP Realty. Uh, she runs the team on the rise. She's also a broker as well. Uh, profe uh, played professional tennis uh, for several years. It's going to be a really great conversation. And I think you're going to learn a lot from her and what she's doing and where she's going. So make sure you, you subscribe to the Survive Scale Soar podcast. And until next time, onward and upward. Thank you for listening to the Survive, Scale, Soar podcast. If you heard something that made a difference in your life today, share it with someone that might benefit and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Learn more about the host of this podcast and coaching services offered by Red Hawk Coaching by visiting www.redhawkcoaching.com.